Yo, what's up everyone? Welcome to another episode of the Strength Classroom. Today I'm showing you my dynamic effort upper body workout. So, I needed to do a little bit more hypertrophy work today, but I'm like, you know what? I'll scale back a bit on the speed work. So I only did six sets of three just to make sure my bar speed does not deteriorate, which as you can see, it's good. I might not do this every week, maybe every other week right now while I focus on hypertrophy and other things. Instead of actually benching, I might do some throws with a heavy medicine ball or a lightish medicine ball, just to get some explosion. But here comes the meat and potatoes of the workout. Three sets of 10 with Swiss bar bench. I went with 225 and it was a little bit too heavy. I knew I wasn't gonna be able to sustain it for three sets. So I stopped it at eight and I'm like, you know what? Let's just go with some lighter weight. So here is 210 or 205, I believe. And I'm doing much better reps and sets. It's moving smoother and it gives me more room to progress. If you max out an exercise, you don't really have anywhere to go, especially if it's your assistance work. So you want to leave a little bit of space to grow. By the way, I highly recommend this bar. Here is overhead pressing with bands, and I really butchered the setup here. On Even on my next clip, you'll see. I did this in the summer, and I totally forgot that I did not double the mini band. So there's so much freaking tension at the top. I only did single band with a black band. So that's why there's so much extra tension. I'm like, in the summer, I was doing this with over one plate. How am I doing it with 95 pounds? I don't like my shoulders got weaker. So I tried raising it up and I'm like, oh, now I know what the problem is. It's that I have, I have the doubled bands as opposed to the single stretch band. So that's where the mistake is. So next week, I'm going to have to redo this lift if I choose to do it again, which I probably will. Might do some landmine pressing though. I don't know if I'm in the mood for barbell pressing. This was just to test this out while getting some shoulder stimulation. Then, would you know it, barbell rows. Every workout will be containing barbell rows for the next little while. You can see there's a new technique that I feel my back way more than I would before. I'm letting my back, my shoulders protract and retract and that's how you train your back. Now, oh, another set. You can really see like I'm almost trying to round at the bottom, but then as I initiate the movement, my back flattens out. So this will really carry over to back size, which will then carry over to a stronger deadlift, which will also carry over to a stronger bench. Bigger back, bigger bench. End of story. Then here is some weighted push-ups, 25 pounds around my back with a slightly wider grip just to accommodate for my hand placement. I might narrow it out a little bit, but this was great. I did five sets of 10, fairly quick rest periods. Push-ups are so, so underrated. Everyone thinks they're a beginner exercise just because, I don't know, like it's a, reminds them of phys ed class in like junior high, but push-ups are so underrated. Then here is some dumbbell rows. I'm also rounding my back here to get the upper back involved. And it is actually, actually, it is actually a game changer when it comes to back development. Everyone says to keep your upper body like straight as a board. Notice how my lower back, the position does not change. It's just my upper back. Now I don't re re uh, recommend this to beginners because they just need to know how their body's moving. That's a very advanced technique right there. So, if you like this video, please click that like button. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Share the videos with your friends if you think they'll like them as well. If you have a question for me, drop them in the comments. And as always, class is dismissed.